Hello students, today we are going to begin with the first chapter for class 3, a computer system. We have seen various machines in and around the house like a washing machine, fan, television, lights, vehicles and so many more. All these machines are meant to do some specific work. These machines take instructions from the user and gives us the result. Similarly, we also have computer a multitasking machine. This machine does different work. It works on electricity. Let us see how does this machine work. This machine takes input from the users. Input are the data. What is the data? Data are text, numbers, pictures. This input goes to the CPU for processing. The CPU processes this input and gives us a meaningful result as an output. So this is how the computer works. For example, we see a washing machine. This machine is used to wash our clothes. What do we do? We just put clothes in the machine and the machine washes the clothes and gives us clean and neat clothes. Similarly, we also have a mixer juicer. What does it do? It takes fruits, makes a juice and gives us a fresh fruit juice. Input. The data and instructions given to the computer is called as input. The parts of the computer that helps us to give data to the computer are called input devices. Now let us see few of these input devices. The keyboard, microphone and a mouse. All these devices help us to give data to the computer. What is an output? The result that we get after the input data has been processed is called as output. Now which are the parts of the computer that gives us the output? They are the monitor, printer and a speaker. So all these devices, the input and the output devices together make a computer system. So a computer system is an electronic device that accepts data from the user, processes it and gives us a meaningful result. A computer system is divided into two parts. A hardware and a software. What is a hardware? Hardware are those parts of the computer that you can touch and feel. Okay. For example, the monitor, keyboard and a mouse. All these parts of the computer, we can physically touch them. So we call them hardware. What, are so what is a software? Software is a set of programs or instructions that help a computer to work. Software is further divided into system software and application software. System software helps us to control the system. For example, the operating system helps us to control the hardware and the software of the computer. So the different operating systems are Windows, 
Android and iOS. What are utility programs? Utility programs are the programs that helps us to manage the computer. For example, the antivirus. Now let us come to application software. Application software are meant to do some specific work. These are the game software. We can use the game software only to play games. And MS Word, that is the Microsoft Word. You can only type a document using Microsoft Word. So this is how a computer system is divided into two parts. CPU, a central processing unit. CPU is known as the brain of the computer. Just like a human brain takes all the decision for our body, the same way the CPU takes decision for the computer system. It also controls all the parts of the computer. The CPU is further divided into control unit, the memory unit and the arithmetic logical unit. The control unit controls all parts of the computer. The memory unit is used to store data from the computer and the arithmetic unit does all types of calculations. Once all this is done, we get an output through the output units. Memory is a place where we store information. The computer memory is divided into two parts. The primary memory and the secondary memory. The primary memory is also known as the main memory or the internal memory. And the secondary memory is known as the external memory. The primary memory consists of RAM which is known as random access memory. This memory stores data for a short period of time. That is, once the power is turned off or the computer shuts down, all the data in RAM is lost. We have a ROM which is known as a read-only memory. This memory stores data permanently, but once the data is stored, you cannot change it. For example, how to turn on the computer or how to shut down the computer. The process for this is not changed or we cannot change this. All this is stored under ROM. We also have in secondary memory, CD known as a compact disc, a hard disc, a DVD and a pen drive. So a computer is a machine that is divided into hardware and software and a computer memory is divided into primary memory and secondary memory. Thank you.